online technologies uh, provide food manufacturers with automated control of their processes. So that involves uh, having some sort of sensor that can uh, detect what the state of the process is or the condition of the product, uh, and a control system and a means of actually taking action to, um, to keep the quality consistent. The benefit of this is uh, a, a more automated process, consistent quality uh, and consistent safety of product, uh, and also the fact that you have records of that. Uh, you've got continuous monitoring, um, so you've got uh, quality and safety assurance. Uh, if something goes wrong, it also means you're alerted to it rapidly, uh, you can respond to it, uh, and you minimise the amount of waste product that you produce. Uh, this research project addresses the fact that, despite the benefits of being able to, to have online control, there are lots of properties of foods that we can't measure automatically, and currently we have to take samples and take them to a lab or measure them at line. Um, so the, um, the purpose of the project is to identify uh, what new sensors are available that perhaps could fill in that, uh, a gap there uh, and provide uh, more consistent or, or more complete online control. Uh, the types of technologies that we'll be evaluating in the, pro in the project uh, include some of the um, things that are currently quite widespread in the food industry, so things like uh, temperature sensors, of which there are various types, pressure sensors, um, flow rate meters, so we've written a review of those already that's available to members free of charge. Uh, and so you may be an expert in one particular type of technology, but perhaps unaware of what other ones um, exist. And also we're, uh, we're looking at some uh, newer technologies that are perhaps less familiar to the food industry. So one of those that we've reviewed uh, is electrical tomography. And this is a non-contact or non-invasive system that uses electrodes mounted around or even outside a process vessel or a pipe and can measure the distribution of materials uh, within there based on their electrical conductivity or capacitance. So that helps you to tell, for example, whether a material is well mixed or whether particles are sedimenting out or floating to the top. Um, very good at detecting uh, bubbles, so one of the things we tried is um, uh, that it works quite nicely for monitoring the degree of aeration and, um, and could be used for online control of that. Another technology that we're planning to evaluate fairly soon is a system for detecting foreign bodies in pumpable food materials, so liquids of a, a range of viscosities. Um, and currently there are um, te detectors such as X-ray or metal detectors that can detect some materials. Uh, the technology we're planning to look at claims to detect things like wood and plastic um, that are more difficult to detect with current technologies. We very much welcome uh, input from members on this, um, both letting me know if they have measurement needs, things that currently they have to take samples and they can't measure automatically online, uh, I'd love to know about that. Uh, also if there are technologies that they've become aware of and they think they might be relevant but they need information um, on what they are and how well they work, um, so suggestions for trials that we should be running of, of new technologies. Um, I also welcome input, particularly in the trial that's coming up on the, the foreign body detection, of offers of materials or suggestions for what products uh, people would like us to be looking at. We plan to look at maybe four or five different categories of, of material. Um, also what sort of foreign bodies we should be looking for um, in there. We've got a, a list in mind already, but um, suggestions are things that members would like information on.